This Hotter in Hell update on KFDX is sponsored by Guaranteed Title and The Bike Stop. We're less than four days away from one of the largest 100 mile bike rides in the nation. The 41st annual Hotter in Hell 100 is Saturday with thousands of cyclists flocking downtown to get set up at the starting line. And with thousands of visitors come booming, comes booming business for several local businesses in the area. Curtis Jackson joins us now from downtown. And Curtis, I imagine this is a pretty exciting weekend for new businesses experiencing their first Hotter in Hell. Yeah, that's right. Owners of the Tacozy Torta truck recently moved into the yard, but just a couple of months after last year's 100 mile ride, this time around, they say they're ready and excited for what could be their biggest crowd yet. When Adriana Saldana and her son Jerry opened up a small food truck in the middle of the pandemic, she never thought just a couple of years later she'd have her own spot downtown to call their own. It's been good. Uh, we've had a lot of good outreach, especially from downtown. Uh, a lot of the airmen that come through and walk around, they'll stop by, check it out. Everybody loves the music. Saldana says on a good weekend, they may have up to 500 guests check out their place located at the yard, but with Hotter and Hill 100 just around the corner, they're expecting an even bigger crowd, but Sedonia says it goes beyond the business. We want the people know the downtown area, they, that this area is vibe, it's, it's really good, so uh, people can come, walk around and see different places. We have a lot of support about our neighbors and everything. So we're very happy to be here. And that foot traffic is exactly what Executive Director for Downtown Wichita Falls Development, Jana Schmader, has been preparing months for. We start by working with our downtown businesses on making sure they're going to be open and vibrant. They know all of the activities going on so they can, you know, work in conjunction with Hotter and Hell. Schmader says Hotter and Hell 100 is often the busiest day for several local businesses in the area and wants to remind the public that there are going to be some changes this year. The Friday night crits are happening um, along Knight Street and Travis and Lamar. Um, they're typically at impact with, with the construction. Um, they've moved now down into the further into the district. And then Sunday morning is the Sunday criterium. So you'll have an opportunity Friday night, all day on Saturday, and Sunday morning to enjoy different races. Along with some amazing food and a family-friendly atmosphere. And Lauren, we can't forget about one of the biggest events going down this Saturday evening, the Hotter and L 0.5K run and block party happening. Registration is closed for the 0.5K, but Schmader encourage, encourages everyone to come down to Park Central beginning at 4 p.m. for all the festivities. Now, for more details on that, head on over to our website and click inside the story.